What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and the news coming out of uh, our schools has been insane lately. I talked about last week, allegedly, a teacher getting, a substitute teacher getting fired for not, and I want to say this correctly, for not meowing back at a student that identified as a cat. Yeah, you heard me right. And now there's stories swirling all over the internet about a Michigan school allegedly putting litter boxes in their bathrooms for students who identify as cats or who are, I guess, furries in the school now. Of course, they've denied these claims, and we'll have to leave it up to you to figure out who's telling the truth here, because it sure seems like something that sounds true these days. That's for certain. Michigan school superintendent forced to deny rumor that litter boxes were provided for students who are furry after outraged mom claimed kids were being encouraged to identify as cats and dogs. Is it any wonder why our country remains pathetically low when compared to other Western nations in education? You know, is it, is it any wonder? Why aren't we writing articles about our horrendously low math scores or, uh, you know, our terrible completion rates in cities like Chicago and in the inner cities, Milwaukee? This is what we're talking about. A video of the woman, Lisa Hansen, has since gone viral, racking up hundreds of thousands of views on conservative social media pages and even being shared by state Republican Party officials. So yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools is in a uni bathroom, has a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And I'm really disturbed by that. And I will do some more investigation on that. She told the Midland Public Schools Board of Education during a meeting on December 20th. On Thursday, Superintendent Michael E. Shero said it was unconscionable that he had to address the issue in an email to parents. Okay, it was unconscionable that you had to address a concern. Isn't that your job? Now they say, let me be clear, there's no truth whatsoever to this false statement. There has never been litter boxes within any kind of public school. I certainly hope. Here's what they posted on Facebook. Communication regarding the false claim made at December MPS board. Good afternoon, Midland Public Schools, families, and community members. It is unconscionable that this afternoon I'm sending a communication. However, our Midland stakeholders may be confused about a message that has resurfaced this week and is gaining traction in social media realm. At the December 20th Board of Education meeting, a community member addressed the Board of Education during the comments. She stated that litter boxes were provided within MPS student uni bathrooms. These are either or bathrooms, family bathrooms, for those who identify themselves as cats. Let me be clear. There is no truth whatsoever to this statement. There have never been any litter boxes within MPS schools. Imagine we are at such a state, my friends. We are at such a state that this has to be addressed in with such venom. Hansen appeared overwhelmed with confusion as she addressed officials at the school district about an hour northwest of Flint last month. I'm still wrapping my brain around this bit. Yesterday I heard something, I was stunned, and today I'm equally stunned and a little upset. Furious, I would even use the word. I want to talk about the fact that I know this is going nationwide, so it's not just for this board, but the community needs to understand that the agenda that is being pushed through our schools is, in just my opinion, but somewhat nefarious when it comes to these activities. Let's talk about furries. It was addressed by a kid a couple months ago that they're put in an environment where the kids are safe to identify as such, that or a cat or a dog. So I heard that at least one of our schools has a uni bathroom with a litter box for the kids who are identifying as cats. And I'm really disturbed by that. And we'll do some more investigation. What? 
I I don't know. I know I have. Hey, I don't. I don't. Uh, I know. You know that community takes a lot of flack. I don't. I don't uh, have any problem. Uh, I wish they would police their own a little bit more. There's some some bad people in that community, but I I don't know. Do they use litter boxes? That seems unlikely. It it really seems unlikely. Um, but you know, for the identify as cat crowd, maybe that's the case. I mean, what? On the Twitter page of Libs of TikTok, his co the comments have been watched 607,000 times and have garnered 10,000 likes. Michigan Republican Party co-chair uh, reposted the video on Thursday, writing, kids who identify as cats get a litter box in the school bathroom. Parent heroes take back our schools. This isn't the first story uh, along these lines. In fact, you can see this is, you know, BuzzFeed News. Yeah, you know, everyone's favorite source for the truth. No, the school is not putting litter boxes in there for students to identify as cats, the superintendent says. Well, if they were there, sure would be nice to have a picture. But, you know, remember when they said, oh, when we when we let uh, teens, you know, use the, the girls' bathroom, nothing's going to go wrong. You're a, you're a terrible person if you ever thought something like that would happen. Then it happened. Then it happened again. Um, we and, and by the way, we have teacher who was says she was fired for not meowing at students who identify as cat. I mean, nobody. Do I believe her? I don't know. I mean, it certainly seems something that I would believe nowadays. This isn't even a new thing. Go back to August of last year. Kentucky school district students are dressing and acting like cats. The Meade County School District is dealing with an unusual situation. A group of high school students is attending school and acting and dressing like cats. This, these are high school students. You know, if this was elementary school or something, uh, you know, it seems, I think I even played like pet shop when I was in elementary school. Um, so I don't, I don't know, you know, by the time you get to high school, I would assume this is over with. Now, are they wearing the 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 fur suits? I don't know. I I, I don't know. the The school system is bizarre to me. Certainly, we've seen a renewed push towards this um, CRT crap that uh, people are putting in schools. Right. This is just from a few minutes ago. Florida school district cancels professor's civil rights lecture over CRT concerns. I mean, I'm not pro censorship, but also, uh, you know, I'm also, you know, when we're talking about spending taxpayer dollars on somebody, maybe, you know, if you want to come and give a history education, that's fine. Um, I don't really see any issue with that, but CRT is not fact based. Florida School District cancels real history as anti CRT s censorship spreads. What? The day after Florida State Senate's Education Committee passed a bill banning public schools and private businesses from making people feel, quote, discomfort when learning about U.S. racial history. This is obviously Salon.com, okay? Uh, a school district in Central Florida canceled a teacher training seminar about civil rights movement that had been months in planning. This past Saturday, Dr. J. Michael Butler, the Kanan Distinguished Professor, Kenyan, Kanan? I don't, it's not Kenyan, Kanan Distinguished Professor of History, uh, canceled. Um, you know, you have all this stuff. There's a huge fight for um, our school boards right now and what, what they're teaching our kids and whether or not they can get their stuff, you know, together and, and focus on facts. We have this stuff getting forced on students in a time in which the rest of the world has caught up or passed uh, America in terms of education, um, where globalization has made it very difficult to um, compete for, you know, people graduating college now when people are just like trained like machines in other countries and can seamlessly take your job over the Internet. And they should, by the way. I'm not one of those people that says, hey, you shouldn't hire the best qualified candidate just because they're remote. Bull. You hire the best qualified candidate, period. 
Parents are getting more involved homeschooling their, their kids if they're able, and I think that's a good idea. Those that can't are getting involved in school district meetings, which I think is also a good idea. But this absolute insanity has to stop. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.